32 years ago on the Altair system, Vesudan scientists discovered the remnants of an extinct civilization we now call the Ancients. And here we found the secret to defeating the Shivans. How close did we come to being a footnote in the history of a future species that would happen upon our ruins 10,000 years from now? Would they indulge in the fiction of their own immortality until the Shivans came for them? And how long had this gone on? Did the ancients stumble upon the monoliths and the tombs of their predecessors in this distant corner of space, dismissing the warnings carved in the walls of the sepulcher? And when the destroyers came at last, what did the ancients think as they sifted the cremation of dust and bones, staring into the mute remains for a key? Some solution to their plight. What if there had been countless races stretching back into infinity and like the nine cities of Troy, each civilization had been built on the rubble of one that came before, each annihilated by the Shivans. The ancients died 8,000 years ago. As humanity emerged from its Neolithic infancy, they believed their voyage across the sea of stars woke the dragon that slept beneath the waves, that the Shivans were birthed from the flux of subspace, and their destruction was the revenge of an angry cosmos. With recent victories on the Civil War front, the GTBA Security Council has authorized the deployment of two Dimos-class Corvettes into the Nebular Theater of Operations. The Lysander and the Actium crossed the subspace portal in Gamma Draconis at 2335 hours and joined up with the Aquitaine's battle group. On their last sortie, Epsilon and Iota Wings encountered two Sheevan warships. A Rakshasa-class cruiser designated the Iblis, and a Lilith-class cruiser designated the Azuras. Admiral Petrock has instructed our corvettes to hunt down and destroy these vessels. The 107 will provide fighter cover. Alpha Wing, your mission is to escort the Lysander and the Actium as they carry out this assault. Your first priority will be to eliminate all hostile fighters and bombers. Only then will you assist the Corvettes with their strike against the Shivan warships. If we lose either Corvette, you will abort the mission and withdraw from the field immediately. Steady as she goes. Those cruisers are somewhere in this vicinity. We're now converging on their last known position. Are you reading anything on sensors, Actium? Negative, Lysander. If we don't find them, they'll find us. I don't expect we'll be disappointed. The Sheevans fought nothing but great war relics. We'll show them what firepower is all about. I'm picking up something. A wing of enemy fighters closing in. Alpha and Beta, intercept those bandits. Keep them off the Lysander and Actium. Cruiser now coming into view. Confirmed. It's the Azuras. Firing all guns. Damn it, Actium. Block their friendly fire. Avoid the beam and you won't get hit, pilot. Thank you. 
survived. All hostile fighters eliminated. Oshima's put up a good fight. Deploying support ship now. Please stand by. Well done, pilots. Help the Corvettes finish off the Azuras, but don't get too close. We have destroyed the Azuras, Command. That's one more Shivan cruiser out of circulation. Okay, let's find that Rakshasa. Continue on your current heading. If you need to rearm pilots, now would be a good time. With the technology they had 30 years ago, it's a miracle we won the Great War. No shields, no flak guns, no beam cannons. Would you care about Kappa Wing? Vanished without a trace, five clicks from the Aquitaine. They're patrol on the NTC Trinity, right? Yeah, that was Arthur Romick's ship. Hard to believe he turned traitor. Hey, Command, you gonna tell us what the Rebels are doing out here? New readings coming up on sensors. Incoming fighters. You'll be informed on a need-to-know basis, pilot. Now kill the chatter and focus on your mission. Even warship we encountered has been designated the SD Ravana. Allied forces have been deployed to engage this vessel. Given the number of Sheevan fighters our wings have encountered, we knew an enemy destroyer had to be lurking somewhere within the nebula. Our impaired visibility and diminished sensor range made locating their base of operations difficult. 
Command hoped our offensive against the two Sheevan cruisers would lure the destroyer from its hiding place. Under these circumstances, there was nothing you could have done to save that corvette from destruction. Admiral Petrock has informed me that the 107th may be called in to reinforce the vessels attacking the Ravana. Suit up for your next sortie, pilot.